Well, a very good evening and uh, a warm welcome from the BG Stadium. It's the J-League Asia Challenge here in Thailand, the Interleague Cup. And it's two J-1 League sides coming face to face under the lights this evening. It's a change of venue. Switch back to uh, Patanthani on uh, what is still a very mild evening, 31 degrees Celsius inside the BG Stadium. It was scheduled to be played originally at the Thunderdome Stadium, but there was a concert there just a few days ago, and the turnaround was certainly uh, a tall order to get the pitch to a playable condition. And the best solution was to switch the game to the BG Stadium. And for uh, Kawasaki Frontali, there they are in the tunnel. Now back to familiar surrounds. They won here on Saturday by three goals to one. Yamamura sent off in that game. He does play today. Very entertaining game. It was 2-3-1 victory for Frontali. All the goals coming in the second half, as well as the sending off. Concedo Sapporo also very entertaining at the weekend. 5-2 they lost to Buriram United, the powerhouse of Thai League One. Good performance for the home side. Run away with it in the end. But a very entertaining game. And talking of goals, these two have certainly served up some this season. 14 goals in the two league meetings between the two sides. Last month, Consadol Sapporo scored in the very last minute to beat Frontale 4-3 at home. And that would have put a big dent on what ultimately was a failed bid to topple the league leaders, Marinus. He's now on the title by two points in the end. Back in June, Frontale won 5-2 at home. So these two have certainly been serving up the goals. With the shackles off at the end of the season, maybe this is the time to continue that trend. Good crowd of locals, as well as the travelling supporters of both Frontale and Consa. Just awaiting the arrival of the two teams. Final game of a long, hard season. It is mid-season here in Thailand. But the likes of BGPU and Buriram United have embraced this competition. And... Uh, put up good performances big sides there is the so, mascot Two sets of players making their way out. Both teams in their familiar colours today. The red and black stripes of Konsa. The light blue shirts of Kawasaki Frontali. Captain's armband today for Superchok Sarachat, who of course is from Thailand. He used to play for Buriram United. A move on loan to Konsa. Made permanent on a five-year deal this week. Pre-match formalities between the two teams ahead of kickoff. This uh, stadium 
It's a fine stadium. It's a three-sided stadium because of the residential complex over on the far side. But it is very neat and compact and tidy. It is FIFA recommended and approved. Onto players ahead of kickoff. They know they can beat the likes of Kawasaki Frontale. They done it just last month. Here is the concert side. Change of goalkeeper. 33-year-old Koki Atani coming in. Superchok Sarachat takes the armband. Gunhee Kim, the South Korean, leads the line. Two sets of players. Mixing for a quick pre-match photo to promote what has been a very successful tournament. Superchok Sarachat and uh, China Tip. Both from I, uh, both from Thailand, as are the match officials today. The referee is Mong Kolchai Petri. Here is the Frontale lineup. They go with a young goalkeeper who has made the bench as an unused sub just once. This season, the 23-year-old Yuki Haka, uh, Hayasaki was a UTN graduate. just returned from university. Kei Chenin leading the line with 12 goals in all competitions this season. That's the Frontale head coach for today. And that's Atara Ishii takes charge and it's opposite number Turo Oniki. Mihailo Petrovic of uh, Consadol not party. So, uh, that's Atari Ishii. There's Lan taking the control. By no means a full house, but it's a good crowd inside to watch these J1 stars put on a performance for one last time. You saw there Tsuyoshi Akashiwa and before that Lucas Fernandez. They fly back home today, both these teams, and then park on a break up until Christmas. They can enjoy the World Cup. They do have two players in the World Cup squad for Japan. Of course, neither of those playing any part in this tournament. All eyes on the two captains, the two Thailand internationals, Superchok Sarachat and Jana Teep. Chenet standing over the ball, ready to get this game on the way. No supporters inside the stadium certainly making their selves noticed. And the countdown before kickoff, three seconds. Off and underway in this final match in the Interleague Cup in the J League Asia Challenge. I want to 
Big mistake early on, and that was so very nearly punished. What on earth was Takuma Arano doing? And the shot slipped just wide by Keichen. It was a dreadful touch from the defender, and he was mighty lucky that the ball just bent away from the far post and wide for a goal kick, but that was sloppy from Arano. They were very nearly off to the best possible start there, Frontale. Goalkeeper Hayasaki, first touch for him in a long, hard season. He's played pretty much third and fourth fiddle in uh, the campaign. Did have one game on the bench. Actually, lost that game. It's not his fault, he didn't come on. This is a good run forward from Chin, and again, he's doing a fair tackle on him by the man that nearly gifted him a goal, Rano. And then swept up by uh, yes, or two, Nakazaki. Minute and a half gone. Under the lights. So six o'clock kickoff here local time. The other side wants to keep the ball at the moment. It's pretty sloppy for both teams in terms of possession. Clearance was from Sunagano. And then back to the goalkeeper. Yuki Hayasaki. Yagi. Sasaki is playing More towards the center of the fence and Shintaro Kurumeo towards the left. One well in the air by Nakazaki. Sunagali has got the ball, but it's a throw to Konsa. Or is it? Here's a throw into Kazaki Frontali. Gremio is there no? Neatly turned by Chinin. Pulled out wide, just too powerful. Debut back in 2014. He's nearly completed the full 10 years, 200 appearances for Frontali. He's a very solid defender. Scored three times this season. And none of those were J1 goals. Here's the chance. Oh, it's crossed by Higashiwa. No one really there. Took an eternity to clear, but they always looked like they had it under control. Chinon. It's landed on really by uh, Nakamura. Too high for Miyagi. Goalkeeper Koki Atani, former Albrex Nigata player. Albrex Nigata will, of course, be playing these two sides next season. 
J1 after their promotion as champions in J2. Overall, the best team in J2 this season, our mid -X. fragmented at the moment. Six minutes have been played here at the BG Stadium in the skirts of Path and Fernie, home of BG Patham United. 10,000 capacity stadium. Thailand do play frequent internationals here as well. by Ogishawa. Cuts inside. Is it lively in the opening minutes? He scored the 90th minute winner against Frontale last month in that 4-3 win. Three goals in all competitions this season. Cuts inside on his left foot, but it's flying over from the moment he leaves his foot. It's not a bad strike. Just needed to keep it down. Siyoshi. Traffic. So she's on the right hand side of that three at the back. One ball down the middle. No one really there. We had that early chance, didn't we? Which was gifted to Chin and which sliced just wide. Since then it's been uh, a bit messy. You know. So if you just tidy up the racks, you can't blame them. It's been a long, hard on the season. Player that's just finished a league campaign, especially the Frontali players that just missed out on the title by the skin of their teeth. Last thing they want is to fly off for a tournament at the end of the season, but these are needs must. And they've actually acquitted themselves in this uh, event very well, both Consac and Frontali. the Brazilian from a Fluminense player. Morano. Lucas again. Towards the penalty area. It's a touch by Gunhee Kim. direction to gain support. That support comes from Nishi. That's a nice pass. The came out. It's been pulled back surely. Oh now did that go in? That's the big question. It was Sarah Chat. Referee says no, I think the flag is up. It was Nakamura who played a wonderful pass here. Look at Nakamura, with the left foot just slides it through. And a pull back from Gunhi Kim. And yes, it does go in. My eyes were on the officials. There's three things to ask here. One, was it offside? Two, did the ball go out for a goal kick? And three, or a foul. Well, it's a corner has been given because the ball had gone out of play. It wasn't a goal kick, it was a corner. 
is Nakamura. Gold disallowed from the Thailand International Surachat. But score. Last week, and there is a strike, and it's a good clean strike, and you could almost see it coming. Considell, Sapora take the lead through Toya Nakamura, his second goal this season. And a very low shot makes its way into the net. Cuts inside, he's got a bit of space. He's only got one thing on his mind. It was the decision making that made it easy for him. Left footed. And he almost created a goal 60 seconds earlier with a wonderful defence splitting pass to Nakamura. And the young 22 year old this time gets it all to himself and he scores an 11th minute opener to give Gonson the lead. But they were 2 0 down very early on on Saturday against Buriram, but by this stage it was back to 2-2. Very, very entertaining start to that game, and they've been the better side so far. I'm not afraid to join in. Sent off on Saturday. GPU, but it's a much better state of affairs this time. Entirely since that near miss in the opening 10 seconds. by Wakizaki. The defender fell nicely in the end for Yuki. Up for Koki Otani. Both goalkeepers wearing number 22 today. Both getting a very rare start. Both have rotated the goalkeeping position today. With uh, Frontani and Konsa. Konsa leading here by a goal to Nilif just joining us. Nicely taken goal by Nakamura. It's a chance to break away. Concern didn't quite take up the opportunity. Saki enjoying his moment, his first team debut. Passed on by Ten Miyagi, another youngster coming through from the uh, academy at the club. He's 
debut in 2020. Former Japanese under 17 international. Wide from Arano. Good ball. Tanaka. Past the man. Well, he got the ball past the man. He didn't get himself past. Tim Miyagi. He's been tripped down. Uh, a free kick has been given. Straight through the legs. Great skills. Fernandez, Brazilian. Bad ball in. Mag is up against Gung Hee Kim. I think it was a handball actually, wasn't it? Look at it the second time. Tenth in J1, three out of the last four seasons of Conta. Looking for another here, but couldn't control it in his stride as he made his way forward. Nakashima. Never had a major honour, but they did win the J2 Championship. Six years ago. Concert. Sharachat. Uh, Sarachat, I beg your pardon. Tinekamura. Lively, Ogashiwa. Good support from Lucas. Ogashiwa again. Way back. Arano. Not Arano, but you've got Nakamura. Good win for Tanaka. Low ball in. It's a good ball as well. Teed up brilliantly. Clever play by Sarachet. Put his foot on it and roll it sideways to Gung Hee Kim. He read the situation well enough. Couldn't hit the target. Did take a deflection. Will be a busy gather in the end as a result of it. Hisaki. Give it a side start. Kuramaya. From a footballer's perspective, if you're going to get injured, now is a good time to get injured, of course. The next game's not until February. Competitive one, at least. If these sides will embark on pre season friendly after the turn of the year. Ahead of a kick off in J1 in February. Five two. Two games in J1 this season between these two. We've already had one goal here. Just coming up to 20 minutes gone. Up. 
Charlie, finishing just two points off the champions, Yokohama F Marinos in the final four matches to put the squeeze on Marinos right up until the final week. Kansa finishing 10th, nine points ahead of the relegation playoff place, 10 points off the AFC Champions League playoff place. There was a stage in the season where they were considered part of the relegation battle, but they could enter the season as so they climb right up to their comfort zone, 10th, and they tend to always finish. Tanaka down, both foul given, goal kick. Kind of get caught by Asahi Sasaki. Started at the weekend, comes back uh, into the fold. Interestingly enough, he was actually sent off last month in the defeat away at concert by four goals to three. He can play at the back and uh, might just interchange to bring Sumigani into it. Tachiban, Tachibanada. Right back. Nakazaka, Japanese international, not in the squad for the World Cup. Hasn't had a tremendously great season, just the one cup goal in the blue. And Frontale, that's a good ball into the box and a chance for one hole and it's taken quite brilliantly. But it will not count. Who's been a real goal-scoring machine this season, Kay Chenet. Probably got his 13th of the campaign. Assistant referee over on the far side. Begs to differ. Let's have a little look. That's the wrong decision, mister. That should have been a goal. He was onside. He made the run perfectly. VAR in this competition, I'm afraid. Well, that should have counted. Disallowed goal for Kai Chenin. That should have been 1 1. And now it could be 2 0. Takes a deflection, nearly came to gun heat. Cleared away. Again, it was good work by Super Chuck Sarachat. Yeah. Look at that repo. We've only looked at it the once, haven't we? And for me, it's clear. It's clear that he's onside. In a situation like that, the assistant referee's got to get it. Renji Matsu. Knocking. Tanaka. It's Tanaka again. To the Score up. Good 
down the middle and a chance. He's running. Right this time. He might have to go alone. Wakizaka did. He made the wrong option in the end. He had options to his left and to his right. Of course, he had the option of just doing it all alone himself. Five minutes from Sally. Excellent Scott. Ball has gone out and play over on the far side. So free kick has been given for the foul by Lucas Fernandez. Much for Goshiba. Back by Aoki. And there's gun heat. Frontali have it back. Ready to build another attack. Chin it. His goal disallowed a couple of minutes ago incorrectly. Slightly too high for Ten Miyagi. Nishiwa has been lived in the opening 28 minutes or so, and he cuts inside. Play as well, it comes back to the same man again. Ogashima wide for Tanaka. Great goal 2 0. And Sarah Chat on so many occasions on Saturday just done everything but score. He's had one in the net already today, which has been disallowed. Thailand rises to one of its superheroes. Super Chuck Sarachat takes it well on the turn. If at first you don't succeed, do it the second time round. There's a karate chop into the corner of the net. Very well taken goal. That's his first goal. He's been on loan this season. He's played a bit part. Five year deal signed this week and he's returned to his homeland. Was a successful return to his old club at the weekend with Bura Ram 1 5 2. Super shot, so chat, Sarah chat. Is a name that might come to prominence in the G1 League next season if he continues his development. 24 year old with a very well taken goal. It's a foul, by the way. Sunagani to to the floor by Tsuyoshi Akashiba. Steps Nakamura, they've got the better side. They just wanted it that little bit more. They've got the bit between their teeth because they know they were disappointed conceding five goals to Bururam at the weekend. Here's Sir Chat. Chance to get forward. Touch of Banada. Chinnam might have to do it alone, but if he looks up, he's got a player on the outskirts on this near side. Miyagi did pick him out, and if he'd have done so, Miyagi had all the time in the world. I suspect Miyagi probably should have screamed for it and didn't. This is Touch of Banada! And that is 2 1. 
Kento, Tachi Banada. And the deficit is halved. They're living up to recent reputation, these two. Put them together on a football field and they will produce your goals. And they've produced three in the first half now. And the substitute, Tachi Banada, decides it's his moment to go it alone. First goal of the season. Somewhat makes up for the fact that he was red carded when these two sides met in J1 only last month. He's visiting, hasn't he? He's really got hold of that with the left foot. Two really good left foot goals we've seen in this game now after Nakamura's. Looking for a quick fire second. And the weekend, twice. In each half, Conta conceded two very quick goals. They won't want to fall into that habit again, but they're in a little bit of a spot of bother here. Right away by Aoki. Driving forward was Lucas Fernandez. They've escaped with the ball. Tanaka. Ryota Ayoka was amongst the goals in that 4 3 win last week against Espos. Espos relegated despite the huge crowds that they get. Sumizu Espos will be playing in J2 next season. This is a good run from Ogashiwa. Then he showed the path away from goal. Renji Matsui, who is eventually hauled to the ground and a free kick is given. This is a good run from Miyagi. Good skills as well. It's a dangerous ball in. Almost in slow motion, wasn't it? And it was turned away. Uh, yeah. Fujimura. It's end to end stuff at the moment. Very entertaining. Kashiwa Tanaka took a deflection. And was cleared away. Only partially cleared, though. Another thump towards goal. That was a good hit as well. Not over yet. Shot deflected away. the entertainment button these two aren't they chances at both ends and here we go again it's just too heavy for Miyagi just like the out puff after making that run just a moment ago Another minutes to half time both sides are at least to the shackles really aren't they of the need to pick up three points for whatever purpose in J1. Lucas put it back, but instead he said, Great turn, it's gun heat, bites his time, but fires it just wide. The Korean striker, two goals in his last eight. He's only two goals of the season. He's had an injury hit season, but he was really composed there. Wide, just slightly too high as well.
Curls one. Oh, that's a brilliant goal. Young Tim Miyagi makes it 2 2. He's beginning to come to prominence on this left hand side. And then he unleashes a great strike. Once again, the area of the floodlights being flashed on and off every time there's a goal scored, which is all well and good. But the rate the goals are being scored here. Circuit. That's a great finish over the top of the goalkeeper. Just steps away from Royoti Aoki. Curls it brilliantly over the goalkeeper. That's 2 2. Contact with 2 0 down at the weekend. Got back to 2 2 very quickly. It's the other way around now. Very entertaining half. I wouldn't want to call this one because it's almost like a game of tennis, really. One to the other. You can outserve one another, really. It's like that at the moment. 2 2. Miyagi and Tachi Banada cancel out goals from Nakamura and Superchok Sarachat. Two and a half games played across this season. 18 goals so far between these two. It's a football recipe. It's going down rather well, isn't it? They complete the comeback. To Jenner. The shot comes in. Nakazaka. Straight at the goalkeeper. Easy save, really, for Koki Atani. 33-year-old goalkeeper. Never in any trouble. There was actually Teo Igarashi, I beg your pardon, the 19-year-old with the shot. Straight out the goalkeeper. 5-2 in June. 4-3 in October. 2-2 in November. Put these two together any time of the year. They seem to be able to produce goals. Last season's two meetings in J1 back in 2021 both ended in 2 0 victories for Frontale. In 2020, they won 6 1 away at Consa. It's a goal that going a little bit further back. It's a game that a little bit further back in history has produced goals. Side flag is up. It's against Lucas. Fernandez. Look at across the line. Really, the experienced Brazilian should have done better. Tanaka is giving the ball away, but it's been won back. Cleared by Yamamura. Closing down very quickly, which is exactly what she did there. Argy again. Man down. Just a little over five minutes remaining in the first half. These little breaks in play. I can usually tell you what's coming up next on the J League International YouTube channel, but of course, this is the final game of the season but don't forget to hit that subscription button and stay up to date with all the latest j league content and of course thank you for joining us on the j league international youtube channel we're here at concert two frontale two and the two teams are certainly serving up entertainment Up for both teams, especially there. You can see 
concert. Tony have named more substitutes today. They've named nine. She's the six on the bench for concert. Ball has been dropped to Matsunagani. run forward. This man is grown in confidence with that goal, Miyagi. He's been fouled from behind by Hirumu Tanaka. Shirt pull. He was getting away from that. Okay, Chenin, good ball. Nakazaki, good play. Okay, Chenin was ready there. Garashi he didn't quite make it through to him. He kicked it thin air because the ball was cleared from under his nose. I'm not saying they're away today, Conta, but their away record in J1 last season did see them concede more goals than anyone else. Joint worst defensive. Record away from home in J1, conceding 31 goals in their away matches. They managed to shake off relegation with some pretty decent home form. They only lost four games at home. And that's a little lob over the goalkeeper. Clever from China Tip. Thailand international scorer at one end. Easily scored at the other, just got underneath it slightly. The goalkeeper was a long way off his line. Two minutes for the first half to go. That's a good ball over the top. Goalkeeper has to come out of his area to deal with it. That's good play by Hayasaki. That's it. Stretching his legs. This is good play. Nagashiwa looking lively. Tanaka, right hand side. Chance to take on Sasaki. Does take on Sasaki. Gets the cross in. Missed it away by Yamamura. We'll try again. Nishi. half remaining. Interesting to see what they add on in terms of minutes. There hasn't really been any stop. Just a couple of knocks, maybe a minute or so to be added on with a goal scoring celebration. So they haven't been too over the top. Probably a minute, maybe two. We'll see in a moment. The fourth official just getting the board ready. Seven point put on. If you try not to lose the ball. Nakashiwa. And that was a mistake by Arano, and they could be punished here. A little chip over the goalkeeper, and wide from Igarashi. Well, first it was Ogashiwa that couldn't keep hold of the ball. It was like they were being hounded and pushed, and the squeeze eventually bared fruit. 
Goalkeeper gets a touch and just helps it the wrong side of the post from a Kawasaki Frontali point of view. Good goalkeeping by Koki Yatani. And that could so easily and perhaps should have been 3-2. We're uh, deep into that one minute of added time that we suspected would be put on top of the 45 for the first. Should just have time for this corner. It's a good save by Koki Atani. Corner will be taken by Wakazaka. And swing up. Right ahead and off the line. It's another corner. Whether there'll be time to take the corner. For. He definitely got the touch, didn't he? It's a corner. It was added on. We've played nearly two. Slammed into the box. Header away by Ioki. I suspect that will be the last of the action. Referee glances at his watch and blows for half time. Very entertaining. Nakamura with the opening goal for Konsa. Chap made it two and strikes by Tachi Banada and Miyagi brought it back. All square at 2 2. 18 goals in two and a half games this season. We're hoping for more of the same in the second half. Certainly indicated that they're going to try and attack and play open, expansive football, both these sides. It's been very entertaining to watch. They've had four goals so far. Shared. Superchok Sarachat amongst those goals. Consado supporter to Kawasaki Frontale to at half time. Gentlemen, we have a halftime showcase today. Band of Nums Philippin Marang Jack Gibun, Tima Probot, Tai Tak Tadun, Kanya Yon Tipan Marab, Rodius Doy, Pick Off, Fucking Hero, Num Num Song Wong Jack, Exile Try, Jama Rum Sang Quam Mans, Hike Up to Connewini, Cosia, Hike Up, Ballistic Boys, and Psychic Fever. Let's go. Has me much psychic fever this. Half time show more you got to give us show. Psychic fever. Masanu gun cup. Choose one. Can we knock 
Thank you so much. So D Cup. Once again, we are ballistic boys. Let's have a good time together. What's up? Woo! Make some noise. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. Arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you so much.
Well, it's been a thoroughly entertaining first half. I hope you agree. Certainly no shortage of goals when these two teams come together. Two captains today, both from Thailand, Super Chok, Sarah Chat, and there is Chiana Teep as well. Final game of a long, hard season. Smiles all round. Two Thai captains, the Thai officials as well. And Thai soil to the J-League finest. Put together a good show in the first half. And this was the opening goal. A low drive, left-footed, very good strike from Toya. Nakamura is uh, playing as a defender, but he likes to get forward at every opportunity. And he dispatched that one through the crowd and into the corner. Very good finish. His second goal of the season. This should have been 1 0. The flag went up. Kay Chinnam was offside. However, on inspection. Actually, it wasn't offside. Next thing you know, it's 2 0. Cross from Tanaka and Sarah Chat chops home to make it 2 0. It's a very well taken goal. He came close moments earlier, reaching out, scored. Yeah, only his second goal for the club. And then substitute pulls one back with a rasping drive. Kento Tachi Barada. His first of the season. Sent off when the two sides last met last month in the league. Different story this time. Onto that left foot and look at the power. Takes that through. Beyond the right hand of Koki Atani, he stood no chance at all. Such great power from the standing position, almost really drives that home. And it brings Kawasaki Frontale right back into the game. Ten Miyagi then makes it 2 2. Look at this for a finish as well. Curled it over the goalkeeper and in. Some really good goals in the first half, and that was as good as any of them. And a curling shot from the 21-year-old, which flew over the goalkeeper in it. And so we're 2-0 down on Saturday. Got back to 2-2 and lost 5-2. 2-0 up today. And it slipped back to 2-2 in a very entertaining first half. Plenty for the crowd to enjoy.
welcome back. And, uh, we're greeted by a uh, cluster of substitutions. At uh, half time, Tano, the goalkeeper, the 36 year old, coming on for Yuki Hayasaki at half time for uh, Frontale. Just having a quick look down the list to see uh, Dayat is coming on for Kay Chenin. Had that goal disallowed, of course. Looks like he'll probably go to the right hand side. Daya, Daya Toto. Irigashi. Yeah. Iga Ashi. I think your pardon. Will go forward. So we get the second half underway. To see if the first half started. Uh, very, very brightly with a chance inside the opening 10 seconds. It's eclipsed by the second half. It's a big challenge to do so. The change for the uh, team in blue. There's a Seko one for Wakazaki. It's a ball out wide. Tanaka inside and then outside and then the cross comes in it could have gone anywhere it was very nearly an own goal and he was sniffing a chance a little bit fortunate really there to get away with that one front early towards far side Tanaka coming away Goalkeeper, by the way, for Conta as well. Atani, uh, Atani had a good save in the first half. Placed by the 30-year-old Shune Matsuburo. Makes his debut, recent signing from Coyote Sanga. Of course, in the playoff on Sunday to remain in J1 for next season. This beaten tidy. Side and he's still lurking on the edge of the penalty area now, trying to win the ball back, clear it away. <laughs> Over the shoulder by Ayoki, and he's done well to get it wide to Tanaka. To look up, pulls it back. I'm not sure that was his intended target. Brilliant effort by Ogashiwa, and it's blocked on the line. Drills it across the goal. Fortunately, Yamamura was there to clear away. Three minutes into the second half, nearly another goal to talk about. Belatedly gives a free kick. Gunhee going down injured. So, uh, this will be a break in play. Quick reminder to say thank you for joining us both today and all the live games that we've had here on the J League International YouTube channel this season. Don't forget that you can hit that subscription button and stay up to date with all the latest J League content throughout the close season ahead of next February's restart. Fernandez is going to hit this one. It's fairly obvious. 
Brazilian fancies it. Two goals in his last five. It's delivered. Instead, and Nakamura is beaten in the air, and that will be a corner. Good win by Sunagani, the 18 year old defender. Actually, there's the first team squad this season getting his chance today, and he's done pretty well. Corner will be taken by Lucas Fernandez. Piece. Comes across. Just too high for Nakamura and it bends away for a goal kick. And they've certainly made a very productive start to the second half counter. Still 2 2. It's another good run forward by Fujimura. He's done very well, and this time it's dispatched brilliantly by Sayoshi Agashiwa. Brilliant goal. And that was no more than they deserved for the start that they've made in this second half. Has a look up, and bang! Great finish. Well, they were 2 0 up. They got clawed back to 2 2. They have the advantage again. taken very long for the second half to pick up where the first half left off. 3-2 to concert out Sapporo. Took it very well. He's had a good game actually. Sayoshi Nagashiwa scored a 90th minute winner when these two sides met at the beginning of October. And he's at it again. 2-2 two two against Frontali. Making all those changes at half time. They made three, including the goalkeeper change. Conta have made the one, which was the goalkeeper change. And it might be 3 3 here if they're not careful, but that's good, strong defending by Aoki, who is the holding midfielder. He's done ever so well, just shielding that back line. It looked like a foul. By Fernandez, on Fernandez rather. It's not sliding tackle. Time to perfection. Put behind for a corner. By Nakamura. The Brazilian certainly thought it was a foul. Supporters have congregated. Charity. Interesting ball. It's flicked on. Flick. He's straight out for a goal kick. Off of the head of Igarashi. Igarashi, a little flick. The 19 uh, year old. Straight out for a goal kick. Take it quickly by goalkeeper. That's a bar. Lucas Fernandez. If he goes, there's a look up. That wasn't a particularly good ball. In between Gunhee Kim and Tanaka. And straight through and out for a goal kick. Nine minutes gone in the second half. And it's 3 2. Three 
kick. Aoki sent sprawling to the ground. And the challenge by Chana Tip. Just a little trip, wasn't it? I don't think it's anything serious. It's a dangerous position. Well, you're on, Fernandez picked it up and said, this is mine. It looked like he was going to hit it towards goal. Ended up delivering it towards the head of Nakamura. This is perhaps pretty much identical. Slightly right of centre. Maybe just slightly closer to goal. over the top, brushes the top of the net on its way over. And a goal kick. And so it's warming up. Marcino, the Brazilian, 15 goals this season. He's going to be coming on sooner rather than later. Lucas again, teasing inside it goes. Just trude on the ball. Lukashiwa, still got it. Tanaka. Naoki. Sliding pass from Naoki. Good ball in from Tanaka. Flag is up against Tanaka. some way and so too was Hooker she will take the choice really 57 minutes gone 3-2 console lead it's a little bit of room over on this near side getting inside again Garashi try to reverse it back inside just the wrong side of Dayatono on as a substitute, the former Honda FC and a Vispa Fukuoka player. We aren't party to all of the information that's been unveiled in the best part of an hour so far. Concert were 2 0 up through Nakamura and Surpa Chok Sarachat. Got back to 2 2 though, did Frontale. Tachi Bernada and Miyagi, two very well taken goals since then, since half time. Fukushiwa has uh, joined in on the goal scoring act to give Konta the lead. Free kick though to Frontale. Suki Seko, one of the substitutes from half time. Former Yokohama FC player, Yokohama, one of the two teams promoted from J2. We'll be playing these two teams next season in J1. Is it back at the first time of asking as well? It's a good ball into the box. And, well, he just escaped the reaches of Matsui. Coming out from the back again. They've been a better side in the second half so far. Conta. Again, the flag is up. Sorry, chat.
Nakamura into good ball. Sarah Chet, chance to run into the box. One or two screams from the locals. Anticipating a, another Thailand international amongst the goals. She's already got one today. Goalkeeper Ken Titano, Sarazo Azaka, goalkeeper, 36 year old, who's uh, now in his third season with the club. Such a banana. Matsunagani. Matsui. Matsunagani again. Scooped over the top. Run from midfield from. Tono. Central position of Charity. Trying to wriggle into a shooting position. Igarashi. It wasn't a bad effort for Teo Igarashi. The teenager. Cheers putting it wide. Everything right. Quite get the angle right with a shot. up the loose ball. It's back to Gung He. Tanaka. Good ball in. That would have been spectacular if it had gone in. And it wasn't very far away from Lucas Fernandez. That would have been so Brazilian. On the volley. Crashes it. Comes off of his shin. It may have taken a very slight deflection. This angle will tell us best. I don't know that it has, but it's just bounced off the Wrong side of the post, and now for a goal kick, and it comes a change for Frontale. Schmidt is coming on for Igarashi. And Marcino coming on for Miyagi. out towards the left-hand side to accommodate Charles Schmidt in the holding midfield position, the Brazilian. So two Brazilians on. Just liven up the proceedings. 63 minutes gone and a long ball over the top and already into the action is Marcino. Pulls it back. Good defended by Nakamura and he needed to do that necessary there because a Q waiting. A long ball over the top. Ogashiwa. Tanaka. Pass in the end from Aoki, and it's a chance for Fontane to break away straight through the middle. Trying to take. Around the goalkeeper. He's going to walk it in. And that is 3 3. Well, he's only just come on as a substitute, but he's a machine when it comes to goals. And Marcino gives us a jig of joy. And it's another goal. And it, for him, it's the 16th goal in all competitions this season for the former international player. The Brazilian is at it again, and he's wasted no time in stamping his impact on this game. Look at the sprint that he's made into the box to pick this ball up. Just gets out the way, does Tachi Banana. I've got my goal, he says. You can have this one. You've made it. You've run for it. You've earned it. He's never going to miss from there, was he? Easy finish. Be 
working on it in the hotel room against the mirror throughout the day. Killing his spare time. What a jig, what a celebration. Well, I'll tell you what, if he celebrates every goal like that, he's had plenty of practice this season. This is another good run forward. And Nakamura still trying to work out how he plays. He's the kind of central defender that just lurks forward every time they cross the halfway line. He's a, an interesting player. by the goalkeeper and he was very lucky to get away with it there snarling and prowling and pouncing and there comes another chance he could have been ahead for the first time in the game there Fintale denied my what a difference Marginio has made it's 3 all. you can't help but feel there are more goals in this game Seven goals in both league games. Six goals in this game. And that's a lovely strike just too high, though, for Lucas Fernandez. Marcino, great ball through the middle, and then super save and away by Nakamura, hit brilliantly by Tono, saved brilliantly by Matsubara. First goal for the six that have been scored in this game so far. Did another foot in height to get anywhere near to that. Fernandez to Nakamura just trying to settle themselves down again here. Press that reset button. Here he's shaken by the conceding of a third goal. Conta tries to get forward. Tanaka, who's looked dangerous down the right hand side every time he's got the ball. Then comes on the inside, it's on his left foot, something like, oh, don't want it there. He wants it on his right, he's very much a right sided player. Nishi, that's a lovely reverse pass. Can he make room for the shot? Well, he took a couple of deflections on its way through off of Gun He Kim. Took the sting out of things as well.
to go. Surely the scoring isn't done just yet. Kazaki Frontale just missing out on the title by two points. Of course, they have been a dominant force in J1 in recent years. won't begrudge. The uh, Maranos for taking the title off of a, a regular winner. And will surely come back stronger again next year. The Champions League, the AFC Champions League is there as well. For uh, Tale to try and attack. Some players in the Japanese squad as well in the World Cup the team to beat again when it all comes round again in February. Asenio. It's his own player and away by Nakamura. Arano. Nakamura, that was clever. Ren Fujimura. Scored his first goal the season in the 5-2 defeat at the weekend against Burram United trips up there Lucas Fernandez quite have enough pace to get over the head of Sasaki I see no look at this for a run he's big and he's strong and he's a hard one to stop he's really, really opened everything up there and he's won a free kick He scored so many goals this season. He is such a threat with that pace. There's a few quicker than him in J1 League, that's for sure. Clearance. It fell nicely. It was rammed over the top of the crossbar by Dea Tono. That would have been his first goal for the club. It would have been the 21st goal between these two sides in three matches this season. Consistently scoring goals when they've met. 5-2. To Frontali back in June. They took their revenge though, Conta, with a 4 3 victory last month at the beginning of October. It's 1 3 3. It's a good turn for Lucas. Looks up. Goes it into Nakamura. Lucas again. Plenty back to defend this, Frontali. Across the face of goal by Aoki. It was a good ball as well. Just needed someone to attack it. They won their final two league games this season, Concert El Sapporo. Beaten in the league, one loss in eight. They did lose at the weekend against Buraram. They're looking for a, another one here. They go two men at the moment. I guess you up. Couldn't get past the first man. They're actually four unbeaten away from home as well in the J League, including a nil-nil draw at the Champions Marinos. Well, by and large, their away form has been pretty poor for most of the season. Towards the end, 
foul against Renji Matsui, 22-year-old defender. Again, out wide to Tanaka. Tanaka's done well. Yoshiwa. Patience is the key for concert. Arano. Back inside, excellent play by Gunhee. Played it in behind Ogashiwa. He goes down, and the referee does belatedly give the free kick. Caught on the shoulder. by Yuto and Sunagani. A shoulder injury. Forty-three year old Shinji Ono oh is amongst the substitutes. Just saw a glimpse of him there. Made a fleeting appearance at the weekend, was actually very good when he came up against Bura Ram United, even though the game had gone. And the concert fans in there. Smiles all around for the Frontale supporters. We're going to see uh, a drinks break now. There is a stretcher on that's taking Nagashiwa off. Yoshino is going to come on for him. The goal scorer is replaced. In fact, it's Douglas that's going to come on. We're also going to bring on Nishino as well. Shoot in Nishino. Young player coming through, just 18 years of age. He comes on. Ren Fujimura. He's a defender, Nishino. He's a tall player. His debut last season in J1. It's a chance to shine right now with just over 10 minutes to go. 3-3. Not even going to say next goal wins because this game's perfectly capable of serving up a couple more goals, surely. I'm going to say this has been a disappointing game. For what is essentially a friendly, it's been a very good game. An early introduction to the action for Douglas.
He got round the back. He got there ahead of Matsui, but he didn't get there until very late. And there wasn't an awful lot he could have done about that. Goes behind for a goal kick. minutes to go there. 3-3. Three, three. It's punched back by Nishi. Aoki. again. And the goalkeeper coming a long way out of his box. Shuhai Matsubara. That's poor. It's been given away. Can they make the most of it? No, they can't. Second chance. And then it comes out to Douglas. It's gone out wide from Gunhe. And the chance passes. It will be a corner. Not quite sure what Kent Tano was doing with the distribution. The goalkeeper has hit one of his own players and comes straight back. Didn't look any danger here. It's his own player. Goes straight back to Douglas. Does a tone with a save, and then Douglas here. Jim sees on the opportunity, really. Concept could have been ahead again there. Spot of cramp at the moment. He's holding up play. It's Charity, it's uh, we're going to see Sora Igawa coming on in a minute, former Japanese under-18 international, so 22, picked up at the beginning of the season following his graduation from university. Hard work, that banging of the drum for 90 minutes. goal to make it 3-3. See that the guy will come on. We're just waiting for the fourth official to get the board ready. Coming off. The midfield man coming on. Doesn't mean that Douglas can take up his own residence in attack. on the stretcher. Go 
on for the injured gun he kept. Attack-minded move, a winger on for a defender. Comes a corner. Into the action. Taking the ball away. It's Kobayashi. It's another good ball in! Just needed a touch and didn't quite get any more than a brush on it, Sora Agawa. Very nearly. A goal as soon as he came on. In the last four matches this season, both teams have scored in their last eight matches played, and this one makes it nine. There's always goals at both ends when Frontalic are involved. Same can be said. That's a splendid looking ball by Lucas Fernandez. Bringing in Tanaka, the two wide men combining from one side of the pitch to the other. Stabbed forward off the toes. And Nishi, it made a good run forward from the midfield, but it goes straight through to the goalkeeper. to go. Both sets of players ready to close down for the winter to relax and watch some World Cup football over the next few weeks. That will keep us entertained through until Christmas. Japanese close season. We'll see pre-season kick off early in the new year. February. We'll see a return to J1 and J2 and J3 action as well. J3 still got a final weekend to go. So the Japanese football season not quite finished yet, but it will be for these two teams. Here's Marcinho. Hectic challenge. Coming in from Tanaka. Who's got some defensive abilities as well as some wide attacking abilities as well. He's done very well actually today, Hiroma Tanaka. Sugawa, he's giving it away. Tanaka stepping back in and winning it. Getting it over to this near side. Can't bring it down, Lucas Fernandez. And eventually he does, and he's done well. Trying to get the ball back out wide again, but picked up by Tachi Banana. Now the pace of Marcino. Good test. To see. Good. The Schumer is in a defensive position. Back into the penalty area. Shots of handball from the initial shot, and then it's put wide. That's uh, Dayatono goes scampering over to the referee. This is there was a handball. It's pulled back here. Antono's shot striking the arm potentially of Arano. Shouts of a penalty. Final minute of the 90. And then this is poaching. Saki gets it away. Turn it. Count wide again. Turn it. Comes inside, still Tono. Is it for Marcinho? This shot is blocked. Good defending in the end. No concert. Now they 
Everton look to turn defence into attack. It's a very good run into the box and a shot was blocked from Douglas. Teed up by Ryota Aoki. Two minutes of added time have been put on to the 90. And a ball at one end, which undetected by the match officials. They quickly broke away. They could have scored a winner themselves, Concert. Here comes another late change. Slovenian Milan Tucic comes on for Tanaka, who is run and run and run. Deserves a rest. Corner. Lucas to take. Towards the penalty area from Lucas, but it's a corner that doesn't create anything and it could cause a problem in fact here one ball forward over from the right hand side and turn up it doesn't come to anything either it's back with the goalkeeper you get the feeling they're going to have to settle for just the two goals in the second half of this match they've let us down a little bit haven't they seven goals seven goals in both the two league meetings of Disappointed today, just the six. Seriously, it's been a very good game. Very enjoyable. Two good sides showing their ability to score goals. Maybe not always defend quite as well. As well. Is there a chance for a seventh? Lucas Fernandez. Nakamura. Sent wide by Sarah Chat. Forces. Blocks from Machino. Machino again. Puts it back. And as far as Tasha Banana. And there is the final whistle. And you have to say full credit to both sides for serving up a very entertaining encounter. It wasn't quite to be for Conta. 2 0 ahead. Contale clawing back. Super Chalk Sarah Chat amongst the goals. This was Agashiwa for Konza, but clawing back with Tacha Banada and Miyagi before half time. Back ahead through Ogashiwa. And then that equaliser from Marcino. Chances are plenty at both ends. Very entertaining game. And quite rightly, both sets of players. Take the applause of the fans. A five-year contract signed this week after a loan spell from Borough Ram United for the Considel midfielder Super Chock Sarah Chat. And wearing the captain's armband, he chipped in with a goal today. Off the mark finally. Handshakes all around. 20 goals scored in three matches, which these two have played against one another this season. One win, one draw and one loss apiece. Superchok Sarachat making his way off the pitch. Six goals shared. Considel Sapora three. Kawasaki from three. Mild evening. Perfect conditions really for a football match. And with the shackles off, both Consa and Frontale. Served up a treat of a game over the past 20 minutes. Certainly been a big success. The J League Asia Challenge. With the games at the weekend producing four goals here. BGPU losing at home to Frontali 3-1. And a 5-2 win for Buriram United over Considal Sapporo. Another seven goals there. That took the tally on Saturday to 11. We had another six today. So 18 goals in three games is certainly something that needs to be applauded. It's been a very successful initiative, this challenge. 
bring in the two big guns from Japan over to uh, Thailand for uh, a great spectacle. It's certainly been well received by the Thai people. And uh, full house as well, pretty much at Buriram United at the weekend to see them power home in style 5-2 against Konsa. But they showed some grit and determination today, Konsa, to get the result out of a side that only just got pipped to the title in the J1 season this time around. Very entertaining game. The very nearly produced a goal in the opening 10 seconds. Chance for K. Chinet, but he put it wide. いかがでしたでしょうか。そうですね。まあ、アジアツは最後の試合っていうのもあって、みんな勝って終わりたいっていうのもありましたし、まあ、前半に点取られる厳しい展開でしたけど、前半の中で追いつけて、まあ、後半
finally today, he got his goal with the captain's armband on. Super Chock Sarachat. And uh, captain's armband also for Tana Cheap. Chana Teep, I should say. The uh, Thailand internationals. And it was a very entertaining spectacle. Let's go through it all again. First goal scored by Nakamura. Left-footed shot through a crowd. He carved open. The Kawasaki Frontale defence a few moments earlier with a great defence splitting pass. The ball was in the net, but it was disallowed. It was Sal Chap scored it, but it had already gone out for a corner. From that corner, they went 1-0 up. Thanks to that goal from Toyan. Nakamura should have been 1 0. Offside flag was raised. Quite a good finish this from Kay. Uh, Chenet and the raised flag shouldn't have gone up. It was onside, but it then became 2 0. That goal from Sarah Chat stretching out to turn home Tanaka's cross. Tanaka had a very good game on the right hand side. That's a good finish from Superchok Sarah Chat. To make it one, uh, to make it two nil. Well, they were two nil down at the weekend, very early on. Conta, after just eight minutes, but they got back to two two, and that's exactly what their opponents done. They had to make a substitution for an injury. Tachi Bernada coming on, and this is what he'd done soon after coming on, unleashing another left-footed goal this time, a very powerful effort, which flew. Pass to Cookie Natani in the concert goal. He's taking it here, shifts it onto his left foot. Yeah, look at the power. Hardly any back lift. That right into the corner. Good finish. And then it's game on. Before the blink of an eye, it was 2 2. And another very good goal. And the argue, grueling, grueling confidence, the youngster. And the 21-year-old cuts inside here, onto his right foot, bends it over the goalkeeper and into the top corner. Very good finish. His first senior goal. What a goal it was too. Over the fingertips of Atani and in. And from 2-0 down. Atani back to 2-2 before half-time. Plenty of entertainment for the crowd in the first half. And the second half wasn't too bad either. 3-2. Thanks to a very good finish from Tsuyoshi Ogashiwa, who had a very good game. Finishing low past Kenta Tano. In his fourth goal of the season. All smiles for the concert midfield player. This would have wrapped it up. A volley from the Brazilian Lucas Fernandes just inches wide. What a goal this would have been. Didn't quite make the best of connections. And then it was 3-3. Look at the pace here from the substitute. Marcino round the goalkeeper. He was never going to miss from there. Walks it into the net. Level it off at 3-3. Three games played this season between these two sides. 20 goals, one win apiece and a draw today. The pace of Marcinho, he was always going to score that. And he's been working on this one. So there you have it. Final score today in the J-League Asia Challenge. Consadao Sapporo 3. Kawasaki Frontale 3. Thank you very much for joining us at the BG Stadium. Have a good day.